So you'll notice that the reference photo in here, as we go along, the painting is going to be quite a bit different from that. That's generally how it goes. If I have a reference photo that I use that I think, well, I really actually like most of the elements in here, I'm still more often than not going to change some of the aspects of it. So now I'm starting to put in the basic shapes of the trees. And I'm going to do those shapes. Generally speaking, I try to do them according to the values that I want to establish right away. The sky is generally my lightest value on there. If I'm dealing with snow, I might get some snow that is actually brighter than the sky, or a reflection on some water might be brighter than the sky. But overall, the sky is generally going to be my lightest value in the painting. I don't want to spell everything out so that the viewer gets it, boom, right off the bat. I want it to take time and hopefully years where the viewer can enjoy it, can keep looking at it and discovering little things that they didn't see before. Something that brings them back over and over again. If I get bored looking at it, then the viewer is going to get bored looking at it more than likely. I should have increased some of the shadows in those areas. I covered up too much of my early darker value foliage that I had in there, and I was missing that. I wanted that back. I just didn't recognize it at the time. So I kept playing with it, thinking that the thicker paint on there was going to somehow fix everything. That's why I have different tools here, especially in my studio, that I utilize. So a couple of the things that I do to help me gain perspective during a painting is I have a mirror behind my easel. So on the wall behind my easel, there's a big three foot by four foot mirror. And I can turn around at any time and look into that mirror, see the reverse image of my painting and get a different perspective. That helps me then to recognize more easily compositional errors, things that might not be obvious to me in the midst of, of painting. Even with those strokes that I'm putting in, notice that I'm varying the direction of those strokes. They're not all going up and down or in one specific direction. I put in a variety of directions with it. And sometimes I get very a very sharp stroke with my brush. And other times I'm using the flat of the brush and just a few small bristles on the edge of that brush to pull those grasses up and just to kind of fade things out a little bit. So get outside, paint from life and have an incredible time painting.